So it hasn't been going very well. In fact, it's been going kind of horribly. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna try to organize some of this bloom, figure out what parts are worth trying to make something out of, and what ones are not. right here that's got some forge wall attached to it and then what might be some bloom here and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit it with a hammer and just try to break it and see what this feels like under the hammer now when something breaks like glass like this I assume that it's mostly slag so I'm going to put this in the refuse pile. As this day continues, I expect that pile to get bigger, this pile to get smaller, and that pile hopefully to get bigger. about this particular bloom. I think that it's basically just slag, that the iron particles are not doing what they should be doing. It's interesting to me that it does rust when I hit it. I mean, it rusts when I put it in water, which is an indicator. What I've seen some smiths do is basically run a second furnace using the bloom from a previous furnace, the slag from a previous furnace as the ore, or as a contributing part of the ore. You can see how it's been breaking apart every time I hit it with a hammer. And that's even when it's red hot. So what that suggests to me is that basically what we have here is slag. Possibly with bits of iron in it, and I know it's a very iron rich slag because it's magnetic. That's basically because it's the same as magnetite, uh, which is a, a form of iron oxide that's naturally magnetic. When I dunk at the red hot pieces in water, they rust to a, a different oxidized state. So, I mean, there's iron in here, at least the element iron, but it's not in a form that the blacksmith can use. Actually, that's behaving like blue. Holy cow, it works! It works! That's what the former pancakes that I made before looked like. That's awesome. So close. I 
Kirk, this uh, extremely iron-rich slag is sometimes called fail light. But I think it's really hilarious because it sounds like fail light. Like the mineral of failure. But it's, it's spelled F-A-Y. So what we've learned is that the bloom material from the smelt with granite is not actually iron. This is the stuff from the previous episode we did on is it iron? And the answer to that question seems to be no. <sighs> So it needs to be smelted again. This is basically just extremely iron-rich slag, faolite. That's the other thing that we did is we managed to forge this piece of iron bloom from the previous smelt that I did, where I used 100% pure iron oxide and got it to work. So apparently, I can indeed make iron from scratch and make it into a bar. I just can't do it with the ore that I've tried up to this point. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna collect iron ore in a completely new way using magnets to pick up iron sand from sandboxes, basically. And we're gonna use that to try to make uh, another smelt run, where we're gonna mix in the smelt material from this one, which has a lot of really good, very smooth flowing slag. And then we're gonna mix that with the new iron ore, and the result should be an iron bloom. Stick around if you wanna see us make iron completely from scratch and see us make iron tools without iron tools. It's gonna happen. It's just a matter of time. Interspersed with that project, which you'll get updates on if you hit the bell down here, is gonna be several other projects, including a continuation of my attempt to make a shirt from scratch and more of our philosophy videos. So if you wanna see more, please stick around.